hi everyone welcome to my channel so today in this video you're going to watch a beautiful uh, kalamkari designer blouse so I'm going to make this design on a red color fabric because I'm choosing a kalamkari which has a red color background with a design in that so first I have already pre-prepared my shoulder armhole and the sides of the blouse okay and now I'm going to take my uh, width of my neckline so the width of my neckline is going to be like 2.8 inches and I'm going to mark that and from there I'm going to mark my depth of the neckline so these measurements are going to depend upon uh, how much you want so if you want a 9 or 10 inch of a depth of the neckline you can alter that so for me I'm just taking like 8.5 inches to the 9 inch of depth and I'm going to make a very pretty U neckline. So just using my French curl to draw my U, which makes my work really simple, just like that. Okay, and from this U, you're going to have a continue shape for uh, like one to one and a half inches, and uh, you're going to draw this. So this like going to be like a one side neckline which is going to have a kalamkari pattern over uh, the side of the neckline and now I'm going to open this out because this design is going to further get into the center point of the neckline going to cross the center line like such and it's going to go all the way up like this okay so I'm going to draw a little bit uh, dark on top of that because I'm going to trace this pattern on my Kalamkari fabric. So before doing that, I'm going to just cut into my U neck line like such. So, uh, so nowadays you can see lots of Kalamkari fabric is available in the market like Buddha face and uh, some kind of... Uh, facial expression but uh, you can just try any kind as you want and this is the kalamkari fabric that i'm using this is going to have like a mango shape all over the fabric and basically it is a background of a like dark uh, maroon color okay so now i'm going to place my fabric like such and i'll be tracing the same pattern on my kalamkari fabric just using my tracing wheel and I'm going to trace the pattern on this so this design doesn't go only with the kalamkari fabric you can always try this kind of a design in any kind of pattern fabric if you have so any kind of leftover pattern fabric also you can just mix and match with a plain fabric like this and now I can see a very slight margin of the exact trace of my neckline on my kalamkari fabric and i'm just drawing that same on my uh, kalamkari fabric like such it should have the exact shape like this So once it's done, I'm going to cut into the pattern and this pattern is going to come on the right side of your blouse. Okay. Make sure you give the exact pointed tip to the pattern. So once it's done, I'm going to press this on my interfacing canvas like such. Okay, the interfacing canvas has a glue on one side so when you press that it's going to be firm so once after pressing that i'm going to just place this on my u neckline and i'm going to sew that so before sewing that to my neckline i'm going to give a beautiful piping to the both the sides of my kalamkari fabric so i just took a bias tape of green color because my kalamkari fabric has a green flowers also so to mix that color I just took a bias strip of green color fabric and I'm just sewing on the one side raw edge of my pattern like this. 
so little by little I'm just getting into the shape of my pattern so till I reach the tip of the pattern I'm going to sew that little by little so once it's done if you find any excess fabric you can just trim that off so my fabric is a little bit way big so I'm just trimming out the excess fabric so that it won't disturb while sewing the next side so now I'm going to do the same to the next side of the pattern so to the next side also you're going to give the same bias strip or a cross piece whatever you call it as and you're going to sew the exact raw edge like such little by little like this so you're going to slowly get into the shape so it's been already pressed with a canvas so no worries of uh, whether you will lose the shape when you pull the fabric so when you press the fabric with a canvas for sure it's going to stay in the exact shape okay so the end result is I'm going to fold this again into the wrong side and I'll be putting a top stretch so the bias strip is going to be folded in and it's just going to give an illusion of thread piping on either side of the pattern that is the old concept of making this attachment to the kalamkari fabric so you're going to fold that nice and neat like this and I'll be sewing this from the top till the tip of my pattern so little by little I'm going to sew this in you can see how beautiful it just gives a very beautiful uh, thread piping effect and it just came out really beautiful so once you're done with the one side of attaching the bias strip you're going to repeat to the next side also so before attaching the kalamkari to your blouse make sure you finish the neckline of the blouse i have already prepared my u neckline just by attaching a bias strip uh, to the neckline and now i'm going to attach this piece of uh, pattern on my neckline like this so make sure that you see only the a kalamkari fabric that uh, you should not see that red color neckline so make sure you keep the fabric at the exact margin like this and you're going to sew little by little and you're going to get into the shape like this so I'm going to repeat the same to the next side so little by little get into the shape of the neckline like this so one side I'll be giving this pattern to the next side I've just made a spaghetti strap or a rope like this and now I'm going to attach this to my neckline okay so I just uh, taking uh, pieces of this spaghetti strap and I'm going to fold this in half and I'll be attaching to the one side of the neckline and you can see just leaving a margin amount of gap in between the neckline and I'm going to attach these pieces like such So this design is going to come to your left hand side okay so little by little i'm going to sew in to my neckline just by uh folding the piece of spaghetti strap and adding that to my neckline like this so in this way i'm going to finish off my neckline just by adding the spaghetti strap to the one side and if you want you can add the beads I have just hand sewn the golden color beads to give a beautiful look hope you like this 
and it just came out really well i just totally love this design and hope you do so so if you like this video and if you want more designer videos like this don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button below so see you next time with a different kind of video take care bye bye